But first, obviously, we don't do infomercials here on Daily Planet, but we do have a revolutionary new material today, and you've got to see it to believe it. Want your white shirts whiter? Well, imagine if your shirts never got another stain again. Countertops so white, they'd be antimicrobial, and even your vegetable crops would be free of bacteria. A German company claims they've created a coating that can do all of that, and right now a locomotive company is slathering the stuff all over its fleet. Our cameras went to London to get the lowdown on liquid glass. We can use it on every wash basin in, in the country. You can coat ovens, fridges, flooring. Patios, we can coat wood, we can coat plants, the screens of helicopters and, and airplanes. We do ATMs, we do keypads, funnels on ships, alloy wheels for cars. Really, if you can think of an application, the chances are that we can already do it. Welcome to the world of liquid glass. In this bottle, we have molecules of SiO2, that's glass to you and I, and water. This is liquid glass, glass in a bottle. When you spray the SiO2 onto cloth, wood, stone, etc., we form a layer of 100 nanometers. That's incredibly thin, 500 times thinner than a human hair. That 100 nanometers is pure glass, very similar to the glass that we have here. What happens when you coat something with silicon dioxide? In fact, we get a lot of very valuable characteristics. Here we have some ordinary suede which has been coated with our SiO2 layer, and this is how it performs. All of these coatings are superphobic. That means they naturally want to reject any soiling element. Now we're going to put super strength coffee onto both surfaces, and we'll see what the performance is like. As you can see on the coated side, no staining. On this side, pronounced staining. Amazingly, silicon dioxide at nanoscale is very, very flexible. In fact, it's 200% flexible. And this means that we can coat fabrics which are highly elastic. One of the most important characteristics is that it's breathable. Now, this is massively important when we're coating stone and wood, surfaces that need to breathe. This is a simple model to show how the system works. Here we have a paint molecule. The paint molecule will sit on top of the SiO2 coating. It can't pass through the gaps. And here we have oxygen. The oxygen can pass easily through the matrix of the SiO2. A thicker coating lasts longer than a thinner coating. Uh, our 100 nanometer coating, when placed on the windscreen of a car, will last approximately 10,000 kilometers, or one year. One of the beauties of using silicon dioxide is that it's one of the most abundant molecules on Earth. Uh, sand is silicon dioxide. So one of the great things is that there's plenty of it and it's very inexpensive for us to mine. I, it would be very difficult for me to uh, tell you physically how we made it. If I did tell you how we did it, yes, I would have to kill you. The application of the SI2 is incredibly straightforward. We first make sure that area is completely clean. But application after that is very simple. You just wipe on the solution. We suffer greatly with graffiti. Um, it happens to a lot of the trains at the outstations. And we do have to usually use quite abrasive and quite harsh chemicals. And with this coating on, we're just plain water and it's all off. The reason that we've gone for this coating, it gives us two benefits. It gives us um, the ability to use less chemicals when we're cleaning the train, which is, is good for the environment. It also allows us to clean the train east more easily. Uh, it stops things like flies sticking to the train. Uh, we've been using it now for probably about three to four months. Um, so we're starting to see some benefits of the trains looking cleaner and staying cleaner. Every single toilet in the world in, in, that's used in, in public areas is a hub for bacterial uh, issues. Now the aim of using the liquid glass coating is to provide an antibacterial background. The coating is, is naturally antimicrobial uh, because it's highly cationic. Uh, and by being cationic it means it's positively charged. And positively charged surfaces uh, inhibit the development of bacteria. Some days ago, we coated this uh, toilet seat. Half the seat with the liquid glass technology, the other side uncoated. We're now going to do a swab test to find out uh, exactly what bacterial count we've got in place after a, a few days of use. And there we have an ATP reading of 10, which is considered as clean. And now we're going to conduct a test on the uncoated side. Here we have a score of 111, which confirms that the uncoated side is most definitely uh, covered in bacteria. 
invariably people say, oh, this is this this technology, it's too good to be true. But it's one of those one of those technologies that comes along every so often. As you may know that if you plant a seed uh, or set of seeds in a garden, you will lose quite a high percentage through mold growth. Now, what we did, we, we prevented the mold growth, but amazingly, the seeds coated with our technology grow 50% more rapidly than standard seeds. That is quite exceptional, but the only problem is we don't know why. We suspect we know why, and it'll be probably two or three years before we actually know the full reasons why. But this is one of the fasc fascinating aspects of this technology. It's still in its infancy. We haven't even started to understand the real potential of it.